All right, let's take the antiderivative. On this one, there's a lot going on. So what we want to do in this case is I believe we're going to have to utilize u substitution. So as we get going on u substitution, I'm going to choose our u to be whatever the innermost function is. So in this case, I think we have the 2 plus x cubed is all underneath the square root. So let's let that be our value for u. All right, from there, we want to next take the derivative. So we'll get a du on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, the 2's derivative is 0, but the x cubed is going to give us a 3x squared. And we also put a dx on this side as we go along. Now, I want to be able to replace everything else except for um, what's underneath the square root if we can. So I want to put it all in terms of uh, u's. So I see we have a dx here, just like we have a dx down here. We have an x squared up in the original. We have an x squared down here, but we don't have a 3. So what I'm going to suggest we do is go ahead and move that 3 to the other side of this equation. So I'm going to say 1 third, that's moving the 3 to the other side, du, is going to equal x squared dx. So next, as we fill in here, we're going to have an integral. We still have a square root. Underneath that square root, we can put our u. And then everything else got replaced with the x squared and the dx is going to get replaced with 1 third. Because it's a constant, I typically put that out in front. And then we'll put a du at the end. So hopefully you can kind of see where we filled in um, with the left-hand side of what's in red at the bottom. All right, we still haven't integrated, however. So let's think about how we're going to do that. First, what I'm going to do is go ahead and rewrite this. Instead of having a square root over that, let's raise it to the 1 half power. That's equivalent to having the square root over top. All right, from here we can use the power uh, rule. So the 1 third comes down as constants come along. We still have u. This time we're going to increase the exponent by 1. So when we have 1 half plus 1, we can strategically write that 1 as 2 over 2 giving us a 3 over 2 out up in the exponent. Now typically we divide by our new exponent, but in this case, instead of dividing by 3 halves, if we were to divide by 3 halves, that's going to be equivalent to multiplying by 2 over 3, 2 thirds. Now because this is an indefinite inequality, we don't have bounds of integration, we should also be sure to include a plus c at the end. All right, to finish this up and get our best answer, we currently have u's involved. Our original problem didn't have any u's, so we need to get x back involved. So I'm first going to clean up the constants out in front. So 1 third times 2 thirds, you multiply numerators and you multiply denominators. And we want to replace that u with our definition. We said u was defined to be 2 plus x cubed. We'll keep the plus c at the end. And there's our antiderivative. All right, you could double check this by, you could always take the derivative of our final answer here, and we should get back to what was on the inside of that integral. So I hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working with u substitution.